We all want the benefits of journaling, right? Self-awareness, calmer mind, productivity. But when we're stuck in the doing, building a new habit like journaling is not uh, effortless or joyful or calming at all. It's just another thing on our to-do list. And every day that we miss adds to our guilt and our frustration. And God forbid we give up on the habit because then we just add shame on top because we're going to judge ourselves as a quitter, right? When you look at building a new habit like journaling from an engineering mindset, you start very differently. You might start by asking a question like this, how can I make journaling? easier than not journaling. Engineering goes way beyond building habits. Engineering is about building systems. And the great thing about systems is they don't depend on your work ethic, your memory, your motivation in order to run. And that's where you want to get with a habit like journaling. When you turn journaling into a system, it becomes effortless and joyful and calming. So you actually get the benefits that drew you to journaling in the first place. So I want to give you a few ideas on how to get there using this mindset or this different path to success called success engineering. So number one is build in support. Find someone in your social circle who also wants to get into journaling and do daily check-ins. I've written a daily report basically every workday since 2017. Uh, it's kind of like an end of the workday journal. And I built that simple habit because I had a mentor who was actually expecting to get them and he actually read them. That was my support. Even now that he's passed away, sadly, I still write that end of the day journal partly to honor him, but also just because the habit is built. It now runs on autopilot. Now, second is to use tech and tools to your advantage. You know, whatever your challenge of journaling is, there's probably some tool that can help, whether it's reminder alarms, uh, time blocks on your calendar, voice transcription, or journaling apps. Now, for me, my hand literally cramps up after about a half a page of writing. So about the last 10 years, my journal has been a little checklist app that syncs across all of my devices. So look for the tech and the tools that can support your new habit, but run on autopilot in the background. Next is don't worry about the format, especially in the early days of building this new habit. My standard for journaling is bullet points, especially in the morning. How much sleep did I get? How do I feel on a scale of one to 10? What's going through my mind? I don't worry about getting poetic. I don't worry about doing the whole morning pages thing with a whole bunch of journaling. Um, if I'm inspired, sure. I'll, I'll write some pages, but as long as I've done my bullet points for the morning, I've journaled that day. So play with a bunch of different formats. Don't lock in on one format too soon. Let's finish with a timeless principle of this whole success engineering mindset, which is get the system running first, raise the quality later. The hard part of a new habit isn't today or tomorrow. Your early excitement is going to carry you through that. The hard part is a week from now. You haven't slept well, you're tired, you're frustrated over other stuff, and you just don't want to do it. And that's the critical moment. Your new habit hangs in the balance. And if you've set the bar too high, you're going to drop the habit in that moment. And that kicks off another round of guilt and judgment and shame. When you're in the early days of a new habit, just get a simple system up and running and then improve it one little bit at a time. That's how you engineer your way to success. And if you like that path to success, and if you're interested in applying that to all other areas of your success journey, that's what this channel is about. So make sure to check out the other videos. Make sure to hit the like button. So the algorithm knows that you enjoyed what you just watched. And thank you so much for checking it out. And we'll see you again.